All right, to make the Kumihimo chain bracelet, you're gonna need a few things. First, you're going to need a Kumihimo disc. You can get this at any bead shop or online. Four strands, 15 inches each strand of a two millimeter Rolo chain. This one's in matte black. And then four strands, <clears throat> 15 inches each strand of a two, mi two millimeter Rolo chain in shiny gold. You're gonna need two cord end caps. These are eight millimeter cord end caps with a little hole in the top here. And you're also gonna need two 24 gauge inch and a half head pins, two of those. One lobster clasp, 15 by nine millimeter. You're gonna need an inch and a half extender chain. This is a three millimeter curb chain with a little leaf chain embellishment on the end. And you're gonna need some tools, a pair of snips, a pair of round nose pliers, and then two pairs of just regular pliers. And that's all you're gonna need to make the Kumihimo chain bracelet. All right, so your first step is you want to thread all the chains onto your head pin, two at a time. So two gold, then two matte black, two gold, and then two matte black. Okay, and then you want to pull all of these chains up into the cord end cap like that. And then you want to create a loop. So you're going to fold the head pin at 90 degrees. Take your round nose pliers and you're going to make about a four millimeter loop. So hold it like this and then pull the head pin around. And at this point, I like to slide on my lobster clasp. I'm gonna slide my lobster clasp on here. I'm going to hold it with my pliers while I secure it with my other pliers. And I like to wrap this around three times. Now I can trim off the excess. Okay, so now I have my Lobster claw going uh, attached to my cord end cap with all my eight strands of chain coming out. All right, so now I've attached all my chains to my Kumihimo board. In the center is my lobster clasp. You can see it here at the back. Uh, my lobster clasp with the cord end cap and then attached on either side of the dots, the gold's going vertical and the matte black's going side to side. So now the trick to Kumihimo is you want to move the chain on your right hand side at the very top down to the bottom right. That's the first step, so right, and then you want to go take the bottom left chain and move it to the top left, so left, and then you want to take a quarter turn to your left. So I like to think of it as right, left, left. So here we go, right, chain to the bottom, right, bottom left chain to the top left, quarter turn to the left. So right, left, left, again. And you want to keep the tension on these chains even. So top right chain to the bottom right, bottom left chain to the top left, quarter turn to the left, right chain to the bottom right, bottom left chain to the top left, quarter turn to the left. So that's how I think of it, right, left, left. And then let's just say for example, I don't know, the phone rings and I want to take a break. What I always do is I always stop with three chains at the bottom. So I'll move the, the chain from the top right to the bottom right and I'll stop right there because then I know my very next step is to move the bottom left chain to the top left and then rotate. So you just keep doing this until you finished all your chain so you can't move it anymore. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, braided all of my chain and this is what I have. This 15 inches of chain makes about six inches of actual braid. Then with your clasp, it makes about a seven inch bracelet. So now to end this, I have all my cords here and I have my one and a half inch 24 gauge head pin and I need to weave it in to this to make sure it doesn't unravel. So I'm gonna start by 
weaving it through all eight chains. You can't miss one. So there's one. And this takes a little bit of finesse. So you might need your pliers here to help pull this through certain loops of chain. So I got it through three now. <clears throat> I'm going to take my flat pliers and help me bend it to get it through all of these chains. Alright, so now I've woven the head pin through all eight strands of chain. I'm just going to trim off some of the excess. Be sure not to cut off the loop that's attached to the head pin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to thread this into our cord and cap. There we go. And once you have them all up in there, you want to fold this at 90 degrees. You want to create another loop, about a four millimeter loop. Fold this over like so, wrap it around. And now at this point, I want to slide my extender chain onto my head pin. I'm going to pinch it with the pliers and then I'm going to secure the loop by wrapping the head pin around a couple times. Okay, and now you can trim off the excess. And there you have it. You have the Kumihimo chain bracelet.